guys, it's Jen, and today is a special day because it's tea mail day. I have dun, 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 a package from David's Tea. Let's consider this my annual David's Tea haul because really, I have so much tea at home that I really don't need to buy more, but every once in a while, I will stock up on some of my favorites, and David's Tea came out with an oldie but a goodie this year that I just couldn't pass up on. So I will do a little tea haul review for you today. We might even try some tea. So grab a cup of tea and join me. Let's unpack my haul. So you guys may have seen my last David's Tea haul video, which was last year around this time. And I had 86 points sitting in my frequent steeper vault and I had been waiting and biding my time to top those points up to 100 so that I could claim some free tea and I have been patient and I have been practicing self-restraint and I passed up on many other very good deals this year until just this moment. So I've been doing a pretty good job of drinking down a lot of my teas and I have a bunch of <laughs> empty tins that need to be refilled as well so we're going to refill some tea we're going to see all the delicious flavors that I got. Let's get into it. So I spent $20 on the David's Tea Tea Bags because you guys know this is one of my favorite ways to make tea is to stick it in a tea bag and let it steep for as long as possible and just keep adding more hot water. I love these because they are compostable, biodegradable, no chemicals, no harmful components, and it's really convenient and easy to use. So that brought me up to just over 100 points. Um, with every 100 points, you get 50 grams of free tea, and so I got some lovely goodies on sale and for free. Let me show you what's in here. All right, so just like last time, I got these to-go cups. I love these because they are double walled, so they keep your tea hot for longer, your hands don't burn, and um, they're just simply iconic. The next thing I got is this 25 sachet box of the tea Just Beat It, and usually I buy loose leaf tea, but this is actually a tea that's being discontinued yet again, um, and it is one of my absolute favorite teas. It's a yerba mate with raspberries, beetroot, carrot, um, aronia berries, goji berries, hibiscus blossoms, and just lots of really bold and juicy flavors that I can't get enough of. You might know this, but this is my go-to tea for when I'm on my period, uh, super high in antioxidants and really energizing, great hot or iced. And you guys can see, I had to just beat it in a mega tin <laughs> because that's how much I love this tea and it's all out. I do have a reserve amount in the regular size tins, but because this tea is seasonal, I wanted to make sure that I stocked up while it's on clearance. And the reason why I got the sachets is because the loose leaf version is not on sale, but the sachets are, and they come in little tea bags like that. But what I'm going to do, because I like to portion the teas myself, what I might do is just um, cut all of the tea bags and then put them into the tin so I can portion them out myself. I'll show you what it looks like. So inside one of these guys, you've got one of these guys in a breathable, sort of silky tea bag. It's a lot less than I expected. I thought there would be at least like a half a bag of tea in here, but it's not nearly even that. Um, that's slightly disappointing. So I got two boxes of those. I don't know how much of a tin 50 sachets will fill, but I will test it out and see. I'll try to like show you a little picture here, do an insert. All right, let's talk tea. So the tea that I was super excited to see back is the Earl's Garden. And this is a black tea with um, strawberries and bergamot, corn flour, and it was one of my favorite teas when I worked at David's Tea. I was really sad to see them discontinue this a few years ago. When I saw that they brought this one back, I was like, holy moly. I did not expect to see this one back because the teas that they've been releasing over the last few years seem to be more sweet and desserty and a little bit less 
pure in terms of just like the tea flavor. And what I really loved about this one when we originally had it was that it had a really strong black tea flavor and the strawberry and the floral notes were kind of more of an undertone, really nuanced, really beautiful. Let's actually taste test this one here and see if it is how I remember it. All right, so I just opened the bag and Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. The strawberry scent is so prominent, really strong. It has this beautiful sweetness, so romantic. I love this tea so much. I can't even tell you how excited I am. So there's the tea and I'll put it in a little gong food teapot here. some hot water to the tea. Let me see how it smells as it's steeping. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells so good. All right, we should probably let this steep a little bit before I drink it, but lovely. So I got 150 grams of the Earl's Garden. All the teas come in 50 gram bags, and I will probably be filling up my mega tin with this one here. Okay, let's give it a little pour. Oh. Oh, that is so good. So the strawberry and floral notes definitely hit the back of your palate. As soon as you sip it, it's really nice and smooth. I think because I haven't steeped it for too long yet, um, I'm not getting that like really strong black tea flavor, but you can definitely get the bergamot, the strawberry. And it's got a really nice clean finish to it. I love it. It's so good. I'm so glad I have it again. I'm so glad it's back. Thank you, David's Tea, for hearing our request to bring back some really good oldies. Okay, another one that I got that's a oldie but a goodie is the Happy Kombucha. And this one is an oolong tea with kombucha, pineapple, um, mango, and some green tea as well. This was actually one of my very first introductions to just kombucha in general. I think I had had kombucha before, but I had never seen it in a tea, and this really got me super excited. Oolong, as you know, is a really great tea for digestion and boosting your metabolism. Let me open this one up and you can see it as well. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so tropical, so fruity. So the next tea I got is called Elf Help, which is a green tea, which was also on sale. And this one I was really curious about because it has um, green tea and orange peel, cranberries, um, and coconut. Coconut? Um, I wasn't expecting that, but I do love cranberries, I love green tea, and again, I just felt like the ingredients were going to be something that would be um, really nice for me. Ooh, I love it. It has huge chunks of cranberries in it. You do smell a little bit of that coconut, but I think it's added in there for the creaminess factor, and it has like big chunks of papaya also. Let me show you. It's very pretty. Very pretty and fruity. I definitely think I'm going to love this one. I'll have to try it. It's got orange peel in it as well. So again, ingredients that are all like vitamin C, antioxidants, things that are good for you. And I purposely try not to get teas that have too much like fillers and additives like candies and extra sugary things. But yeah, I love that this one has like those really big chunks of fruit that you can actually see and it smells very lovely. I know I will like this one. And then with my 50 grams of free tea, I used it on something extra special. I got my absolute favorite Grand Cru Matcha, which is a matcha that is really nice and earthy, very smooth. It's not quite ceremonial grade, but I actually prefer it to the ceremonial grade because it is a little bit bolder in flavor, and that makes it perfect for adding to other things, like if I wanna make a dirty espresso and add a shot of matcha to it, or if I make a 
fruity tea and want to add a shot of matcha um, because it's a little bit of a stronger flavor than the ceremonial. It stands up to all the other flavors. You can still taste it, but it's still quite smooth and you get that caffeine kick. So I got the Grand Cru Matcha as my free tea, which is the best value. <laughs> if there's a tip that I can give you, it's always to use your free tea rewards for expensive things like matcha. So that's my small David's Tea haul for this year. I probably won't be getting more tea this year, mainly because, again, I have lots of tea. But this haul was definitely worth it. I am so excited to drink all the teas. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can see me tasting some of the teas and perhaps giving some feedback, as well as checking out my blog at growwithjen.com to see other things that I have tasted or am trying and to get information on products that I find are intentional for your life, as well as being low tox, no tox, less wasteful, and just make you more happy. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you love tea. Let me know what your favorite kinds of teas are or what you would like to try if you have a question. I will try to answer it. I love making videos like this, so all of your guys' support by watching the video, sharing it, and liking it make a huge difference. Thank you for that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!